Welcome to the do it yourself tutorial of the event Inspiralon to be held during Robotics 2014 from 31st January to 3rd February. We have here in front of you the Inspiralon prototype traversal mechanism. This consists of three wheels placed at an angle of 120 degrees from each other. This enables the robot to traverse the pipe forward and backward. Also, at the front of the robot, we have three caster wheels also placed at 120 degrees from each other. This helps to support the front of the robot during traversal. Now, these three wheels are connected by three motors which are in turn connected by a parallel connection. That means that if power is supplied to one of these motors, all the motors will rotate in the same direction. This enables the bot to move forward or backward on the pipe. We now start with a demo of the traversal mechanism of the Inspiralon robot. Here we have a pipe of diameter 9 cm modeled out of chart paper. This represents the iron pipe that will be there in the event arena. Now this, this robot will traverse the pipe by sending the pipe from the front region to the back. Well, we switch on the bot and show you the relative motion of the robot and the pipe. Once more. Thank you. We now begin part 2 of the Inspiralon tutorial, the arm do it yourself. The arm consists of a rack and pinion mechanism at the end of a C rotatory mechanism which is connected to a motor. This is how the arm works. The rack and pinion acts as a pushing mechanism to pop the corks and the arm of the rack and pinion also acts to fold the checkpoints. The C rotatory segment allows a 180 degree rotation of the rack and pinion mechanism to enable the rack and pinion to cover the whole 360 degrees. Here we start off by showing you how the rack and pinion mechanism works. Assume there is a cork here to be popped by this rack and pinion. And this is how the rack will work to pop the cork. The rack can now be reset by a simple reverse connection. Now the second part of the arm is the C rotatory mechanism. This allows for a 180 degree rotation of the rack and pinion mechanism and since the rack and pinion mechanism can move both to the right and to the left, it allows the arm to access a full 360 degrees. We now start by showing you how the C rotatory mechanism can rotate the rack and pinion. Thank you.